Home Base Quick Resource Video. Welcome to Display Preferences in Power Teacher Pro. From your Power Teacher Pro homepage, on the left hand side navigation bar, display preferences are found by clicking the Settings charm. Underneath the Setup, we will click Display Settings. The first option is Class Names. How do you want to see your classes listed in the top middle drop down of your Power Teacher Pro page? Your choices are showing them period and day, section number sorted by that section number of the class, or section number and sorted by course name. I'm choosing period and day. Coming soon, there will be an option for you to customize the name of your class. The next piece is traditional grades. If you're going to be showing traditional grades in your final grade column, you're going to make sure that this box is checked. Once you check the box, you need to tell the system what values do you want to show in that final grade column. Remember, this is going to be shown on your final grade column and it will show in the parent portal and the student portal. I'm going to choose to show grade and the percentage, but not the points. Now, if at least one of your classes, one or more classes, will be using standards, you're going to want to make sure that this box is checked. Now, the next two pieces are talking about the standards and how they're working with your assignments. If you're going to show standards attached to the assignments, you're going to want to make sure this box is checked. This piece is talking about automatically calculating the standards grade. You have your options of having it automatically calculate by choosing it to be start checked or you can choose it to be unchecked so that means when you give an assignment value of 8 out of 10 as an example it will not automatically give a standard grade based on that 8 out of 10 value. It will force you to look at those standards and give a standard grade based on that result of the assignment. If you're going to do both traditional and standard or show both, you have the option of showing the standards first and then the traditional grade or the traditional grade and then the standards. The next piece is the professional judgment indicator. These checkboxes will let the system know on what pages to show that indicator. The indicator is simply an icon with a lightning bolt in it that will alert you as the teacher if some combination of the calculations does not make sense. For an example, if the student had standard grades of a 1, 1, 1, and then a 4, and yet the term grade was exceeds expectations, then that lightning bolt would appear at that term and say, hmm, maybe you need to go back and take a look at it because he got a 1 on those standards and yet he has a, a high grade for the term. So it's simply something for you to take a look at. I'm going to have them show on both the grading page where the standards are shown and on the student page where the standards progress is showing. The last boxes are talking about students. How do you want their names to displayed on your gradebook? Last name, first name, first name, last name, if you want to include the middle name or middle initial. And then how do you want them sorted? Last name, first name, or maybe you want to include the grade level in your sort. These two boxes will decide if you want your newly enrolled students to show at the bottom of your list or if you want them part of the sort that you chose above. 
And this box, Hide Pre-Registered Students, allows you to choose if you want to hide them so that your new students do not show until that first day when they arrive in your room. And don't forget, if you've made any changes to the page, in the lower right-hand corner, you need to save. Thank you for looking at Display Preferences in PowerTeacher Pro. Thank you for attending this quick resource video.